So many children are going to be heading back to school soon. And here to help us ensure that they wear their masks and stay safe is Dr. Tanya Altman. I oh, hi, Dr. Tanya. Can you tell Hi, us, good morning. Um, hi. Hi, hi. Can you tell us why it is so important that we are all wearing masks? Definitely. So, you know, masks are really going to be key in decreasing transmission as kids get back to school. We've had multiple studies, in fact, even one on your New York City subway that showed just wearing a mask can decrease transmission by 80%. And when you combine that with distancing as well, even three feet, that's more than 90% reduction. So when we're indoors, especially, it's really critical that everybody wears masks to decrease transmission. And so not only the students and the kids, but also the faculty and the others need to be wearing a mask as well, correct? Exactly. So the teachers are really our essential workers in this scenario, and they're so important in our kids' education and their future. And so our return to school guidelines really focus on keeping them safe. So when you have a teacher wearing a mask and a child wearing a mask, that does lower transmission. Now, for high-risk teachers, I might recommend they add on a face shield like I wear in my office, even when I'm seeing sick kids to protect me. And there's some other tips we've been giving teachers, such as to limit interactions close with kids. So if you need to lean over and help a child write their name, you want to stand over their shoulder, really keep those interactions to less than 15 minutes. And what's more risky for teachers than being in the classroom with kids is actually being in break rooms with other teachers when masks come off, like at lunch. So that's why we're focusing on giving teachers the auditoriums and the libraries so they can really spread out to six feet and enjoy time on their break and be able to eat lunch and be safe. How can we ensure that the kids are actually gonna wear their masks all day. Cause my kid like throws his off the minute I'm nowhere to be seen. What, 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 what do we do in that case? So you're absolutely right. It can be challenging. And I have a five-year-old who was refusing to wear a mask at the beginning of the summer, but I needed him to go to camp. So we practiced and we, we played games and we rewarded him and we made it exciting. He could only go do fun things if he was wearing a mask. So he went to camp the first day, mask in hand, and he saw the other kids wearing it. And he wore it all day long even during recess and he had fun and he still recognized his friends and communicated and he didn't touch it all day long. And this is actually what we're seeing yeah. all across the country. Parents are saying, I pick my child up from camp or school. They're still wearing their mask. I get home and say, hey, honey, do you want to take it off? And they forget it's on their face. By the way, wow. I, I, forget wow. my sometimes. I, I actually will open up a water bottle and realize, oh, I can't drink it because the mask is on my face. You know, it becomes something that you're so used to after all these days. Uh, we're going to come back. More tips after the break. Stay right there. Okay, so uh, another question I have is that a lot of the responsibility is going to fall on the teachers for the kids to wear the masks. How do we get our kids to be respectful and listen? <laughs> because, again, my kids are going to be like, no. <laughs> so as a parent, Katie, you are your child's best role model. So when you go for a walk in the neighborhood and someone gets near you, put your mask on, nod hello, teach them what you want them to do. Your child will follow your lead. So if you're respectful and polite to others, your child will also be. And keep reminding them because what? yours is young, so he'll learn. <laughs> what about you. peer pressure from other students? who you know are, are pointing their finger at somebody wearing their mask or trying to get somebody to not wear a mask. So, you know, we saw that at many summer camps. Kids are smart. They know COVID-19 has totally disrupted their life, and they want it to go away, and they know what they need to do to help protect everyone in their community. So they're calling each other out when kids are taking their masks off. And so when I speak to students across the country, I tell them, you know what, you're not tattling on your friends. You are helping teach them to keep the community safe, and you are saving lives. How do we get them to keep their masks clean? I mean, my kid is like a dirty, gross toddler, and my mask, I know, is constantly just like too, you know, after too much use. How do we ask our kids to keep their masks clean? So a few tips, you know, three boys at home and there were masks all over my house. So what I did was I made little cubbies by the front door. Each one has a label on it so they know where their clean masks are and another and so when they leave the house, they can grab three masks, one for morning, one for after lunch, and an extra one in case it gets dropped in the dirt or thrown out with the trash, which might have happened in my house. At school, many <laughs> schools are 
shirts so kids can carry their sanitizer and their mask. And Katie, you're going to love this. There's these super cute mask chains now that you can wear <laughs> and then the mask hang around your neck. And these are other great ways to keep your masks clean. I mean, wow. not just Katie, but I love that accessory as well. Come on. I do too. <laughs> Hey, some, some great I tips here. By, by the way, your your reflexes are very quick the way you catch your earbuds in mid-conversation. Yeah. I just want to say you are very yeah, I don't skilled. Know yeah. I keep out today. Sorry about that. <laughs> excitement. <laughs> it's excitement. Uh, it's some great yeah. tips. Thanks for coming on. Good to see you. For all those tips, you can go to our website. See you later. Bye, Ryan and Katie. Thanks. Stay healthy. Bye. Bye.